All right, it is time for the main event, Belgian Grand Prix. Of course, this run with Alfa Romeo. All right, so now we have, uh, with the final two stages remaining, the uh, nine goals total. And I've got to pick up a few more uh, tunings. So I think it's okay to get the activate if you will the instant r and d and instant service going now i feel pretty comfortable i can i have enough time <laughs> to wrap this up before that expires so let's do it and after the event maybe uh the chances are i'll probably have time left over so i'll try to um, make some progress on the champion series as well with uh, Team Alfa Romeo, right, already got started on it with uh, Mercedes, so I don't know if you guys care to see another team run through, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, here we go, starting in P6, we find up to P4, of course. Swimming a little wide, we must source, so we stay out of traffic when we do that. Uh, P3, so we're already good. And chasing down the leaders. Gotta watch out for those Mercedes guys that can uh, undercut me from inside. Easily since they do have higher grip and better acceleration. So gotta watch out for that. But for the most part, okay. we got this one in the bag. Final bit of the circuit. It's time to bring it on home. Wait a little bit after that last uh, shadow of the, of the tree branch on the circuit. Make a big break on point. All right, minute 44 and change. 700 fame points. 291 uh, driver XP for Kimi Raikkonen. 13,050 motorsport dollar earning for uh, uh, finishing a lap here in first place at Spa. Takes out maybe two and a half service bars for that effort. And. We are continuing on with the PR 119.2. Right, you know the drill. We got that penalty that comes back to haunt us in the final goal, right? We have to win by at least like 100 meters or something like that. Anyway, we don't have to worry about that. Goal two. And once again, that funny PR requirement that happens on this one, 119. <laughs> Alright, let's keep it moving. No overtaking or being overtaken, so maintain fourth place. Right. Challenge. Right. 
press the pan. The upper head. All know, we're uh, uh, all moving pretty slow up the heads. Should we slow it down? So we don't uh, fail the goal here since we cannot overtake. Really, we don't really have anybody in the back either, so no need to worry about. Overtaken. Looks like P2, one of the most luckily got the coaches, but the Mercedes. Up ahead, you can kind of see them. Maybe. And then we see maybe the leader. Maybe kind of caught the ammo just a little bit. to get higher speed with less effort, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's pick up some extra driver XP for that effort, along with the race reward of 9,450 motorsport dollars. Yeah, Hamilton and Botis up ahead. Usual suspects. All right, so one more goal with the current PR. Goal three, safety, safety car out, uh, draft, and move up to P1, right. Uh, three kilometers of drafting. That from maybe first the pan, or yeah. Get that out of the way, right? So we have it, and then we can uh, get around here. That's all right. Yep, indecisive. Yeah, if I remember correctly from the, my Mercedes stint. Uh, none of the goals were all that challenging. I mean, that avoiding uh, drafting the last goal of stage 3 was a little tricky. It just took me a couple of extra tries for that one, but other than that, really. Most of the other goals, at least for Mercedes, wasn't all that so I expect it's not going to be all that much different for Alfa Romeo as well. Some very 
consider some minor contact drop control position, right? Pushing to claim the lead. All right, leader sighted. Two seconds and change. Pick up some 694 driver XP. And remember, 100,000 driver XP is what you need to max out your driver to level 7. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, my guess is I'll probably use the same team. Uh, I don't know, but then again, the um, team principle you're gonna max out before you get there so of course once you've maxed out team principle the benefit that you get is you get the double uh, service bars so that's kind of nice to have anyway three goals down Zacrolean. Moving on to the final goal of stage 4, which means we've got a PR requirement bump. Um, oh yeah, this is the fading tire goal. Hold on to P1, so let's uh, put some more. If I remember correctly, this is the PR requirement that you m can meet by getting 4 steps across the board. Right, so we are at 119.2, so we need 1.6 more so suspension is the one that's lacking currently at two steps only all the others at three steps so start with the suspension and of course instant rmd lovely all right and now up to 119.5 so we need one point Three, right. So here we go. Step four for gearbox mapping should bring my PR up to 119.8, another 150 principal XP. And next category, power unit optimization brings up to 120.2. Is that right? And then we need 0.6 more. And uh, yeah, 0.3 from each of the two remaining categories here. Point the first one coming from brakes calibration. Right. 
and suspension this case is gonna give me I guess this 0.3 all right so yeah four um, tunings across the board so they're not really upgrades right I mean this have the same effect and uh, I guess I'm meeting all the recommended um, spec requirement here just going by looking at that graph I didn't really bother to look at that in the when I was running through it with a Mercedes but uh, now I'm beginning to realize like oh look at that that must mean something <laughs> anyway so we've got the PR requirement met let's uh, do this degrading tires win simple enough if i remember correctly the kind of things that kind of at the yeah early on we had on our tail but uh, we should use them pretty early go that's a pretty decent line coming out of the source and early on then we have 90 percent plus uh, tire life left we should be able to hit some of these corners more aggressively really well. and of course as uh, grip starts to fade i need to be more careful Even more so than I was in Mercedes. But uh, I expect the lateral grip from the downforce carry me through the majority of this fast section flat out. There we go. And maybe it could be a bit easy around the bus stop. Oh, 62% to start off the lap. Two. Start to be a little bit more careful. Mm, I think I should be able to start to get a flat out one. There we go. Ah, 52% uncommon. here all right 584 driver XP it's a pretty decent payout 
two laps. All right. Minute 43 and change. And the rest of the grid really cannot touch me, can they? Nope. All right. Uh, let's uh, get seven service bars for those two laps plus the rolling start. That'll do it for this first half of the main event, Belgian Grand Prix. So let's pick up some rewards. Starting with 60,000 motorsport dollars. And 10 gold. All right, so that does it for the, as I said, the stage four. And we'll see you guys in stage five, the final stage. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys soon.